he made physics dance end. The world watched in awe. Richard Feynman wasn't just a Nobel Prize-winning physicist. He was a bonga-playing, code-breaking, truth-telling genius who changed how we think about the universe. Born in 1918 in New York, Feynman grew up asking endless questions. His dad encouraged curiosity. His mom taught him humor. Together, they raised a mind that wouldn't rest. At MIT and Princeton, he blazed through equations. Then came Los Al Feynman joined the Manhattan Project helping build the atomic bomb. But he also picked locks, cracked safes, and questioned everything especially authority. After the war, his real genius emerged. At Caltech, Feynman helped build quantum electrodynamics their theory that explains how light and matter interact. He created Feynman diagrams, which made particle physics visual and intuitive. In 1965, he won the Nobel Prize, but Feynman wasn't done. He taught like a showman, turning classrooms into stages. His Feynman lectures on physics are still studied worldwide decades later, and when the Space Shuttle Challenger exploded in 1986, Feynman exposed NASA's failure with nothing but an O-ring and a glass of ice water. He told the truth. Even when it hurt, Feynman played drums in Brazil, sketched portraits, wrote letters to his dying wife. He said, Physics is like sex. Sure, it may give some practical results, but that's not why we do it. He lived down thought out loud. Feynman died in 1988, but his legacy, it lives in every scientist who dares to question, laugh, and wonder.